Am I live? Hello. <laughs> Hello. Uh, hi, everybody. Um, my name is Kira Smith, and I'm a Canadian Olympic finalist. I'm a swimmer, and I'm a Lust Brand sponsored athlete. So today I'm going to be doing my style routine from start to finish. So I just showered, shampooed, conditioned with their steps one and two, and now I'm going to style with the kink kinky coily all in one. Uh, my hair is currently like dripping wet. I showered about half an hour ago and then just had it up for a bit. And then like two minutes ago at 9.58, I re-wet it. So, and then I just put it up here really loose so it's not like dripping on me everywhere, but okay, I'll just start. So my hair is dried a bit, So, but it's soaking wet, like fresh out of the shower. So what I'm gonna do to start, hi you guys. Okay, the comments are fun. So yeah, during this, feel free to ask questions. I'll answer things from my own personal experiences and the last team will answer any questions that I might not be able to. Hi, Aster. Thank you so much for helping me with this today. Okay, so sorry guys. So what I'm gonna do to start is I'm gonna tie the top half of my hair up. So I'll go sideways right now. So I'm gonna tie the top half up, put it up there. Now the part that I had the most trouble with is um, this back middle section. So I usually try to split that in half, like half with the top part here and then half with the bottom, just to make it more manageable for me to make sure I fully apply product to that area. Um, the great thing is, is that with this new brush, the last brush, um, what's fun about it is I feel like cause the, the bristles are so close together. If you saw my tutorial, um, about a month ago, I had a pink paddle brush, but and I love it, and the bristles were a bit farther apart, and so I felt like I had to brush it a bit longer to apply all the product. I feel like this applies the product super evenly, and it makes sure that I get it through all of my hair. So, loving that. I'm going to do start with the Kinky Coily All-in-One. I started when I first used Less Brands with the Curly, and it worked for my hair. It's how I fell in love with the brand, how I fell in love with the product, and then the team there suggested I try the Kinky Coily because I'm in the water... 10 times a week, so I wash my hair 10 times a week, and it's super dry. I wish we could have started this with the pre-shampoo conditioner, but with the swim cap, like pulling it down or adjusting it during practice, and then rinsing my hair in the chlorine after, just like it's refreshing. There's, my hair has so much chlorine damage, and so it, like before I shampoo condition, it looks completely different than after. Like right now, I'm very happy with this, so. I'm going to start off just with one pump of the Kinky Coily for this section of my hair. And I am going to brush it and make sure I get it up at my roots because that's the part that, for me, I miss sometimes. So I'm going to do that with my fingers first. As you notice, I already brushed through it. Um, it just makes the product easier to go through. So here we go. So what I'm going to do, this hair will get brushed again, but I think I like to just clump it with four fingers just to smooth everything out and just to make sure, just making sure that like the product's everywhere, the hair feels smooth everywhere, it feels like there's product applied. And if there's something that I need to go over again, I have no problem doing that. I feel like this will be a super fast part of the video and the rest is gonna be just diffusing. If you guys have any questions, I feel like I need to dry my hair to scroll. Hi guys. Yes, Sandra, I feel the same. Uh, she said the brush really helped me to better distribute the all-in-one. I also have this if I need it. My hair is still dripping wet though, but it's the all-in-one. It is a spray bottle and it will just continue spraying water. I don't need it right now. My hair is still really wet. But for the top section, since I feel like it's up top and the water is running down, that's when I'll usually need it. Do you finger coil your curls? So in the front, I won't. And like these ones, I won't. But this back section, I sometimes need to. And I'll either... I either f won't do it and then I'll have to go back and do it after if like once I feel like all the products have fly applied and I'm about to diffuse if I'm like okay those aren't as smooth as I need them then I'll go and do and like manipulate the curl a bit on my own but as my hair has gotten more healthy and as I've stopped flat ironing it and um, using a lot of heat on it and damaging it and really just like focused on hair health since I found less I haven't had to finger coil as much um, I'm really happy with how my curls are looking I'm really happy with my curl confidence. Um, sorry, I keep reading. Hello from St. John, New Brunswick. Hi guys. Um, 
Okay, yeah. so here's my hair right now. I just have the all-in-one on that bottom section. Now I'm gonna get to this top section. Now, the top one, um, this is what my hair looks like. It was brushed with conditioner, but since it is so dry, it tends to fall apart. And I remember um, in high school when I would like have a shower and look at my curls and I'd just brush them and I'd look at them and I was like, I wish they would just stay like that. And I just thought there was no way or no product that would help me be able to wear my curls. I thought mine was, how do you keep, I thought that my, my curls were different than everyone else's because no product worked for me. It was, it was difficult. And then I felt like I had to straighten my hair if I wanted to look good for school or if I wanted to go to an event or anything. So, um, once I found less and once I realized that like my curls can be worn every day and in professional settings and once I started to embrace them my hair got healthier I started to feel more comfortable with it and it honestly it looks better on me and I look back at photos when I used to flat hair, flat iron my hair all the time or um just feel like I had to make it different than how they are and just fought how they naturally curl um I'm so much happier now with them I honestly am okay there are there's before and after photos out there you guys can easily see how damaged they are so for this one i'm going to start with one pump of the product what i find with this top section is um the there's still like usually a little bit of product in the brush and so when i brush my hair that will distribute it through a bit so i start with one pump and then if i need more i'll add more but usually i'll just need more water how do you keep your cap on when using all the conditioner that's a great question um if I keep talking and doing this, my hair is going to dry. Um, so how do I keep my cap on with all the conditioner? That's an awesome question. I'm going to take a minute to answer this. Um, with LUS, the three-step step system, it's intended to be fully rinsed out, the conditioner. So you shampoo, rinse it out, condition, rinse it out. And I like to shampoo because it takes the chlorine out of my hair. That's important for me every time I wash. And the conditioner condition it has so much slip in it so my hair is soft and then I rinse it out completely I don't leave any in and for a long time I thought I had to leave conditioner in to have healthy hair or to protect my hair from the chlorine and so my cap would slip and like midway through practice I'd have to switch caps or just keep pulling it down and adjusting it so with this system I rinse the conditioner out 100% and then I take the all-in-one and I apply this and this doesn't make my hair slippery in the water so once my hair is fully dried and I go to practice in the afternoon or practice the next morning. Um, I don't feel the product in my hair when I get into the water. Like my hair doesn't become like slippery in my cap and have that slippage. So um, that's another reason that this product really, really helped me in the pool. Thank you for pinning content or comments. Do you use the el oil elixir oil? I mix water all in one and a drop of a drop or two of the oil in the spray bottle and use it after the pool. Oh my gosh, I might try that. That's a really, really good idea. So yes, I have the elixir oil. I have it up here. Um, and I use it a lot on my skin. I use it on my face a lot and then I use it on my hands just because I feel like when I'm leaving the pool, my face dries out really quickly. Okay, I'm going to focus on my hair for a second. I feel like my um, hair dries out really, or my face dries out quickly. I will use it on my hair um, on weekends when it's dry if I feel like I need it or I heard a really cool tip that I, I should get better at, but before bed to rub it into your scalp to like enhance, I don't know, hair growth. I mean, I don't know if that's true. I shouldn't have said that, but um, that's what I heard. And it feels good anyways. So if you just like rub it into your scalp, it, I mean, it can't hurt and it feels good. And I feel like it's helping my hair stay healthier. My hair is healthier and that could be a thing that's really helping it. Um, okay. So I'm going to brush my hair for a sec. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to brush through the curls, make sure they're all covered. Make sure they are all clumping properly and how I want them to. All right. So now we have that. And I'm very happy with that. So now I need to make sure that I check the top of my head. Check back here. You'll see too that I, like that one pump, it, it did a lot. Like you can see the white there. I'm not worried about that. That will soak into my hair. I'm going to have a moment here where I have my hair up. So I will answer a lot of questions then. So I'm going to go back and just make sure that everything is where I want it. And also that these curls aren't stuck to my head. Okay. And I'm back here. Okay. Okay. 
So you guys can see, like, there's a ton of product in my hair. And um, that was just, I think I used two or three pumps in total. So that's why this is going to last a long time. So now I'm going to do, I'm going to take the t-shirt towel. This is brand new to me and I totally love it just because it's so easy to wrap your hair up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure my hair is off of my scalp in all directions. So I'm going to gently, was that gentle? Put my hair to the side and then try and take some of that moisture out with this t-shirt towel and just like clump it up, make sure everything's how I want it. Check that back section. There we go. Same thing. And like, if the curls aren't kind of laying how I want them, then I just kind of shake it a bit. Okay, and then I'll go backwards. Make sure, okay. Now what I'm gonna do, put my hair over completely. I'm gonna make sure this is like down at the bottom of my neck here. Go here, tie it tight at my forehead, so pinch it there. But then I don't like to like squeeze my curls too tightly. So I like pinch it there and then make sure it's tight. And then just like loosely wrap it around so they're all in there. And now this is when I will apply makeup or get ready and organize everything for the day. Um, okay, so why do I use the Kiki Coily and not the Curly Formula? Right, sorry, I feel like I started to talk about that and then got distracted. So I use the Kiki Coily. The team recommended that, me to, recommended that I try this because I'm in the pool so often. So my hair is drier than, it's pretty dry. It's damaged from the chlorine. I wash it 10 times a week. so. I tried out the Kinky Coily and I like how hydrating it is for my hair. It gives me a little bit of extra moisture and um, yeah, I like the way that my curls curled with it. And so that's why I use the Kinky Coily and I also, I love that it's, I mean, an all-in-one. So I don't need to carry, because I travel a lot, I don't need to carry the gel or, I don't know, hair, I don't know what people use, or hairspray. But I mean, I just carry these three things, like my shampoo, conditioner, my all-in-one, and a brush. And I'm pretty much good to go. This usually doesn't travel because it's like a luxury thing, but at home it's so nice. I don't think I needed it today, but um, sometimes if I like wait too long or if I'm doing something else, this will come in really help helpful, especially for that back section if I need more moisture to get water back there instead of having to like maneuver my head under anything. I was, okay, from Shelby, I was a competitive swimmer in high school, which was before I started my curly hair journey, and my hair was fried. I started my curly hair journey last year and I followed the curly girl method while using the less products. I would like to start swimming again, but my current routine is to wash my hair every three to four days. How will that work if I start swimming again every day? Good question. Um, so whatever you do every three to four days, I'm sure that you deep condition. You could try adding in an extra deep condition in your week. I'll try to do it two times a week. I'll even do it three if I have time. But my hair absolutely needs the moisture after being in chlorine. Right now, I'm actually only swimming seven days a week just due to limited pool time and only certain pools being open. So, um, I am swimming a little bit less, which is nice for my hair. Um, but yeah, I would recommend deep conditioning an extra time, and if you aren't deep conditioning, to add that. And um, making sure that every time that you come out of the water, even if you only wash your hair three to four times a week, wash it every time you come out, because getting that chlorine out is so, so important. You don't want that drying in your hair. So do it at the pool. Um, yeah, that's my recommendation. Wash your hair every time you leave the pool, deep condition. and. Even if you're not going to style your curls, I would recommend, well, well, what I do is I still rinse the conditioner out and then I put all-in-one in and even if I'm going to an afternoon practice, I feel like the all-in-one, oh, <laughs> thanks Karen, um, I feel like, so when I put the all-in-one in, it's still hydrating for my hair. So even if I have like a practice in four or five hours, I'll put that in just to help my hair rehydrate. Is that a special brush from Les Brands? Yes, it is. So it it's brand new. Sorry, my hair's on it, but I mean, that's the point, right? So yeah, cute Les Brands brush, pink. And okay, I feel like I wanna clean this. Okay, so this is cool because there's so many bristles on this. And if you go sideways, you'll see they're at different lengths. And I have no problem brushing it through my hair. I don't feel like it's pulling anything out. It's not frustrating for me. It actually slides through really easily, especially with the conditioner. So yeah, it's a new Lust brush. Love it. Um, yeah, it's a great, I switched out my other pink paddle brush. I've had that for years. So no, this is very exciting for me. There's also a Lust scarf, which right now is protecting the table from the product I have on it. It's also great for other things like wrapping your hair and protecting your curls. Uh, 
yeah, so, okay. I feel like I can take my hair out of here and start diffusing. I'm gonna add one more thing before I go, because it turns out I have a difficult time multitasking. I started my lust journey, or my curl journey in general, last April in 2019. So, about a year and a half ago, not even. And I w walked into a hair salon and they asked me how much I like my curls and I generously, I said four, four out of 10. And they were like, okay, you'll leave here a 10 out of 10. Just, they just said that like so confidently. And I was like, what? I was like, I've had these curls for 25 years. I've never loved them. I've tolerated them. I've tried to embrace them, but I've never loved them. And I left that salon 10 out of 10 and I didn't exactly pay attention to what she was doing. I didn't know there was it's like a thing that I could do differently than just shampoo, condition, leave conditioner in. So I bought everything she used and it was, love your curls. And so I came, went home with my first Lust Brands products and tried them out on my own. Didn't turn out the same. Not at all. And I'm a kid. Um, yeah, the product, it didn't turn out the same as in the salon. So I went back in the next day and I said, hey, these are what my curls look like. Um, it was only 10 minutes from my house. I was like, this is what it looks like. What do I do different? And she took the time to help me out. And she's like, you need to add more water. You need to clump them with your fingers. I was like, okay, okay. So I went home and I tried again and I just kept trying it. And I knew what the goal could be. And I knew what, like my goal was, it, it was how she did my hair. And I was like, I can figure this out. I'm with it every single day. Um, and so I did, I just kept through trial and error, adding more water, applying in the shower, applying out of the shower and finding what was right for me. And I asked questions. And then once I found the Lust Brands Facebook page and this team and this community and could ask questions and found that people were asking questions similar to mine, I started to feel like my curls were, they weren't different than everyone else's. They were, I mean, they were just, it was curls and there were curly hair products that I could use. And I was like, this was a product that it feels like it was made for me. And so, I don't know, that's why this is so special to me. And I have family members who often ask about it they're like hey should I pick it I'm like I I don't even know how to like genuinely tell you like yes and I will help you out you can try mine like let's do it and I just get so excited I'm so passionate about it um I was like you hasn't tried anything new so many things failed miserably but less is so it's so worth the try it's so worth the try and it's so worth asking questions too so you won't get it you likely won't get it the first time but um that's what community is so great for and that's what this community it's so helpful and so motivating. Okay, I need to really focus. So, taking my hair out. This is what we're looking like. So I'm going to lift it up, and then I like to part it to the side. I want to separate this. Okay. So, oh, go to the side. Do you have lots of knots in your hair? Even though I keep mine trimmed, I have knots and tangles. Do you feel the brush helps with knots and tangles? For sure. I have so many knots in my hair, especially if I don't keep up with um, brushing or... I mean, I, don't, I always brush my hair in the shower, but I have knots and tangles if after like a swim practice or two, or if I take my cap on and off in a swim practice, if I'm like teaching a clinic. Um, yeah, my hair gets really knotted up here at the top from like all the friction of the cap and just at the end, I mean, just curls. And so, uh, yeah, the brush helps with knots and tangles and it wasn't painful. Great brush. Okay. So thanks for pinning the comments. That makes it easy. Okay. So I'm going to start diffusing. Let me know if you can't hear me. Oh yeah. You guys, I printed off a photo. So you're gonna see that I had genuine printer issues, but this is gonna be the end result. And I wish I showed this like 10 minutes ago, but okay. <laughs> These are what the curls are gonna look like at the end without the stripes. But as you'll see, they, have volume definition they're touchable can you see they're touchable yeah is your hair thin no my hair is not thin it is th you will see that more i think maybe when it's dry right now it looks thin i think because the curls are all really defined my hair's not thin my hair's thick i often i don't need to stop this dry i often have people asking they're like how do you fit all your hair in a cap i get that question like every single clinic I go to, people are always asking, how do you fit your hair in your cap? Is, do you have a larger cap than, like, is there like a way? No, I wear a normal cap, lots of hair. It, it all fits in, but yeah, I have thick hair. So, how do 
I keep my uh, the roots of my hair from being flat? My curls are formed towards the end of my hair than the top. Okay, so how do I keep the roots of my curls from being flat? I do that by making sure that what the curls aren't like stuck to my head. So right now I have my hair kind of tilted to the way that I'm diffusing and I'll just kind of shake them off. I try not, I, I don't touch them until they're fully dry. But um, I basically, I make sure that the roots are dry and then I'll start to touch them if I need to lift them up a bit. I know there's things out there like clips that you can use or you can diffuse upside down. This is what I'm the most comfortable with. Do you see a difference when you diffuse with low or high heat? Um, no, I don't. Maybe I haven't experimented with it enough. Am I supposed to? I don't see a difference. I often let my hair air dry just because I'm not at home when I do my hair. So, no, I don't. I, I, I don't often even diffuse my hair. I'll usually just let it air dry and I'll leave the pool and drive home and just try not to touch my curls and be delicate with them. But I mean, even if they get a little bit frizzy, I don't mind that. And my next wash day is always tomorrow. So no, I don't know if notice it. Maybe in hair health, but not in like uh, end result. Do I have hair that sticks out the bottom of the cap and gets short and blonde? Uh, no, no, I don't. Um, I have. I've seen that though. More often, who else? That? Amy. Um, I haven't. I have seen that happen to people with uh, with short hair. More often, I'm not sure why. The chlorine's never turned my hair green or anything though. Um, the only thing I noticed from the chlorine is how dry, dry how it dries out my hair, but it's never changed the color or anything. But I do see sometimes, like at the back of your neck or my neck, that like some of the hairs will have ripped off there. And so I will have like <laughs> neck bangs, I think what swimmers call them. When, yeah, when the hair just rips off back there from the swim cap. The kinky coily is so helpful for extra hydration. I've really found that too. I do. I do know other Olympians with curly hair. Um, if you guys, I don't know, want to check them out. Kylie Moss has curly hair. Uh, I don't know if you heard that. She's a world record backstroker on the Canadian team. Or she was a previous world record holder. She has beautiful curly hair. Taylor Rock has beautiful curly hair. Um, let me think. It's a great question. Gabe Master Mateo. He has curly hair. How curly does your hair have to be? Oh, that's a good question. Uh, Lust Brands has a wavy formula, a curly, and a kinky coily. So, um, it's worth giving a try if you think that you want to. right way to do it um for sure i mean try it out on your daughter brushing her hair once a week if you want to do that or if it works for her it definitely it probably works for that lady um i i couldn't do that i brush my hair every day for sure every time that i have conditioner in it and i wash it i'll brush my hair so there's no like like right way to do it just trial and error so keep trying out what works for you ask questions take photos uh yeah, and be like, hey, this worked, this didn't. 
I'll keep doing this and I'll modify this or I'll never do it again. It's pretty much it. So for sure, just experiment. That's a great tip for sure to try out. How long does it usually take you to diffuse? Um, honestly, not that long. I think I'll be done, I would guess 10, 10 40. So 15 minutes. Yes. Oh my gosh. A swimmer. Yeah. Um, these products helped me with damaged, always dry, frizzy hair. 100%. Um, my hair, it was damaged from all the things from not getting a trim to bleaching it blonde to dyeing it black to making it blonde again to straightening it three times a week on heat that was higher than recommended. Without, I was doing nothing for my hair. I was so mean to it. I didn't know. I was just trying to fit in. I don't know. So my hair was damaged is what I'm saying. And the chlorine on top of all of that. Um, and this, these products, not only are they good for your hair, all the, you can read the ingredients yourself. They're good for your hair. They will help your hair. But just loving my curls and embracing my curls, being motivated to take care of them because now I have the tools to do it, that's really been... It's getting warm. I think, yeah, no, loving my curls, having the tools to take care of them and having this community has really been what's improved my hair health the most. It's great to, that, yeah, these products have everything that you need and you don't have to go and search for something else or worry about what's in them. But, um, you know, what I loved was that now I know how to take care of my hair. And so that's really helped me turn my curl journey around, really focus on hair health and know that I'm doing all the right things and not have to worry about researching what, like I can just experiment. Like I, I learned a new tip today with adding the elixir oil to the infinity bottle. That's awesome. So I'll for sure try that. I'm sh for sure still learning. I'm loving when you guys um, help me out too. I like watching your guys' videos on YouTube, on Facebook and everything. So yeah, it absolutely helps with dry damage hair in so many different aspects. Do you use a silk pillow? Do you use silk pillowcases? Is there a method you use to keep your curls intact? using a silk scarf, enter silk scarf, um, putting your hair in a pineapple while you sleep. So what I do is I put my hair up, I put my hair up in a pineapple when I sleep. So I'll turn my hair upside down and then tie it right here at the top of my head with usually a silk scrunchie. And then I've tried silk pillowcases for sure. They, they're great for your hair. I, I only use them if I like really want to protect my curls, but usually I'll just sleep on my favorite pillowcase, which is like a purple one. Uh, it's not special, but no, I don't always sleep on a silk pillowcase, but I will sometimes. I'm aware, I'm aware of how helpful that is. But usually I just do the top pineapple. I'm also very excited about this silk scarf. There's so many ways I saw on the Lust Brands Instagram page to tie them up and to protect your curls or just to style your curls. So that's a super fun thing to try to help protect your hair in your sleep or just to protect your hair during the day. Mm. What kind of diffuser? No idea. It's, this isn't even for this. I got this as a Christmas gift like six years ago. And this, I, I actually, I didn't, I didn't know what a diffuser was for and I threw it out and so about a year and a half ago I went and I bought a diffuser and it fit the end of it and so now here we are so yeah nothing special about that is it important to get your wavy curly hair trimmed and how often yes I'd say yes uh how often I'm not sure. I would guess every three months. That's kind of what I try to do. So I feel way more comfortable cutting it on my own, to be honest. I have had a couple experiences where I'm just like, um, and I've had a couple great experiences, but um, 
So I'll, I'll usually go once every six months to a hairdresser. And then like the in between three month mark, I'll usually just like style my hair just like this. And then go through each curl and then just like cut off like little as bit. So you wouldn't really notice, but I, I feel the difference. Just like, I think it's more of a thing like when you're running your hand through your hair after, you can feel it's different, but like visually you can't really tell. That's just my experience. Um, oh, do you find you sleep in a cap? I found that saves my dry hair so much. Thanks, Karen. Uh, you know, I'll try it. I will. Thank you for that. How long do you leave the towel on? Yeah, so usually as long as I can. I'll do my makeup, I'll get changed, I'll get ready for the day, I'll pack my bag, and then I'll head out. Um, right now, I just left it on for like five minutes, and what I'm doing is, you saw like the hair was kind of, it was white in some parts. I'm just letting the product soak in, let my hair rest, let myself rest, um, answer some questions. But I really like to do that. I feel like the product soaking in when I do that, and my curls are kind of like, I don't know, just like resetting before I start to diffuse or before they go down. How long? Yeah. Shelby, um, do you clarify your hair? If so, how often do you do it? I don't. Should I? Let me know. Um, I don't, I mean, it's, I shampoo my hair 10 times a week, but clarify it that I honestly, I just shampoo condition all in one. Is clarify like shampooing? The Lust team, oh, my internet. The Lust team will give you, I personally know I don't. I'm not against it though, I just haven't tried it. Oh, Vicky, yeah, for sure. Um, you'll be able to rewatch this. Um, but on the bottom section I used, uh, two pumps, so one on this quarter and one on this other, on the right quarter. Yeah. And then on the top, I just used one. Oh, so I guess I used three pumps for my whole head. It's, um, really concentrated. The same with the shampoo conditioner. Yeah, I used, I think I used three pumps today. I feel like I used three. I deep conditioned last night, so my hair was like, it's ready to go came to play. Um, of course. Oh yeah, so I was going to say, um, so I, I've always used just a little bit of shampoo and I just try to yeah get the chlorine out. And then with conditioner, I usually use so much of it, but with Lust Brands, you don't need to do that. And what often happens to me is if I'm not really thinking of it, just out of habit, I'll take the bottle and I'll squeeze it and then I'll have like so much conditioner and I'm like and I I don't want to waste it so then I open the bottle back up and I try and put some in just because you don't need as much as uh, you would think and then if I do need more I'll add it in but I really try not to waste the product so I've there's been times where I'm not paying attention and then I'll spray or I'll pour like a lot of conditioner on and uh, yeah then I'll end up not needing all of it. I didn't realize there's a leave-in. Yeah, it's a, yeah, it's how I was introduced to the entire line was the leave-in.
I think I answered all the questions. Oh, what's it like being a professional swimmer? What was the Rio Olympics like? Oh. Honestly, it's, it's like a, a dream. It's a dream. I love, I mean, being an Olympic swimmer is no different than being a swimmer. And that's kind of what's been so interesting to me is that my whole life I've dreamed of, I, I started swimming when I was 10 and Sorry, I started swimming when I was 10 years old and I immediately fell in love with the sport, with being competitive, with setting my own goals, um, with going to the pool, being with my teammates, the intervals, the sets. I loved the entire process and I just kept doing it and I had this dream and this goal even before I started swimming, before when I was in track and field and running triathlon, I wanted to go to the Olympics and um, whenever the Olympics were on TV, my family would have them on and they'd be like, Kira, like, pay attention, this is only once every four years. And so I'd be like, okay. I thought it was like the opening ceremonies, I was, so I'd watch, sit down, watch the Olympics with my family. And then watching the athletes compete and win medals and just be a part of the Olympic movement, I was like, I'm gonna do that, I wanna do that. And so I was in running at the time and super competitive, loved the sport, but with injuries and everything, I mean, I was 10, I don't even know if I was good, but I loved it. Um, I had just had injuries, so I switched into swimming one day. My dad was lap swimming and brought me to the pool and the lifeguard was like, you should get her into a club so she could swim with kids her age and try competitive swimming. So I tried it and immediately loved it. And I just kept on loving it. I mean, there's been ups and downs and so many hurdles along the way. And it's been a learning curve and then I'll think I'll have it figured out and then I'll hit another slump and then I'll think, and so, it's constant ups and downs, which ultimately looking back have been the best parts because that's when I've been able to reset and refocus and come back stronger. And um, to, then I made the Olympic team. There was just a day where I had, there was days where I had to refocus and where I had coaches say, Kira, you talk about the Olympics, but this isn't lining up, this isn't lining up, this isn't lining up. And that's when I had to reset and be like, all right, if I want to be an Olympian, I have to do these things a bit better, whether it's nutrition, sleep, who I'm hanging out with, uh, my grades in school, it all matters. And so once I, d I made the Olympic team in 2016, I went to the Olympics, I represented Canada, and that was awesome, but nothing changed with my love for the sport the whole time or my love for competition or any of that. It was just another swim meet, and all I realized my dream of being an Olympian, and now I get to train for another four years, one year. I got to train for five more years for Tokyo. And it's been so much fun to continue to get to train as a professional, as a 26 year old. Um, and to have that as my career, as my job right now. I love that. So, yeah. How long do you keep deep conditioner in your hair? Do you put it in your roots or just on the ends of your hair? Oh, in my roots for sure. Okay, i take a minute. Yeah, no, I, 10.38. Honestly, I'm, I might be done at 1045. I might have been right. Um, yeah, I'll put, I put the deep conditioner all through my hair, so I'll do my deep conditioner. Sometimes I'll do it like half and half, depending on what I feel like I need. Um, I'll either do it just like I apply the all-in-one, so I'll put the top half of my hair up, and then I will do, brush it through the bottom half, and then I'll bring that next top, the top layer down, and then brush it through the top layer. Or I'll split it into two parts and then brush it through. And then I'll just put my hair up for a bit and I'll wash my face, sing Taylor Swift, whatever. Um, yeah, that's just kind of like some time to reset. But okay, I only leave it in for five minutes about, if that even. That's why I can do it two times a week because it's not super time consuming. Oh, once a week I do an apple cider vinegar rinse. Okay. Clarify the scalp. Thank you. Ends first, work your way up, deep conditioning. Yeah, true. Um, if you're having a tough time brushing through your hair, I would start at the ends for sure with the deep conditioner. Yes, I suggest wearing a swim cap in the pool. Um, but that said, I, at the end of practice, I will take my swim cap off and like rinse my hair out for 
uh, no reason other than it's refreshing after having a swim cap on for two hours. So, I mean, if you swim without a swim cap and that's comfortable for you, just make sure you shampoo after. Um, don't, don't make swimming uncomfortable for yourself by wearing a swim cap. But from a swimming perspective, yes, because it's faster and you won't have hair everywhere. It just kind of contains everything, so it just feels like you don't have to worry about that. So, yeah, swimming with a swim cap is super helpful. I'll take the second to show you guys my Lost Brands cap. So this is fun. Uh, this is what I train and compete in. So... If you ever see me competing, you'll catch the Lost Brands cap. Do you use the elixir oil after styling? Yes, um, I will do that if I feel like I need it on my roots or if I feel like I need it on the ends. Um, it just adds like a little bit of extra shine, but no, this is going well. Sorry, it just started to get warm. Okay. So yeah, I use the elixir oil after styling. I usually bring it to the pool with me to put on my face after workout because letting the water just dry on my face really dries it out. Um, I will use it on like my nail beds if I feel like they're drying out, which often happens. I change climates a lot, so I have get dry skin. Can we purchase cap? No, but um, I do need them this year, but next year we can talk. I love this one. I know, me too. I love it. It turned out so well. Um, I had these made they're not an actual product but they are cute don't you love it sorry I don't know how to... I kind of knew that would happen once I showed it and then I regretted it but yeah it's my sim cat okay thank you Um, I use a medium heat. I never use the cool setting. Uh, sorry, I'm just taking another break. I have two minutes <laughs> from my time that I gave myself. Goal cool time. Um, okay, yeah. Do I dry my hair on high heat or the coolest setting? I will usually dry it on medium heat. I don't use the cool setting. I realize that's more healthy or that's healthier for your hair. Um, just because of time. If I'm diffusing, it's usually because I want my hair to be dried quicker. Otherwise, I would just let it air dry. Um... Uh, but I try to avoid high heat and actually since I found Lust Brands in April 2019 I haven't flat ironed my hair since then so the heat damage has pretty much it's gone to zero and I'm so proud of that um, yeah that's one of the things that I'm really really proud of what advice would you give to a curly girl who's just starting to embrace her curls oh I feel like that's still me um, the advice I would give to a curly girl who's just starting to embrace her curls would be to ask so many questions and to be aware that like like talk to people who are so positive about curls talk to the less team anytime I talk to them I leave and I just feel like an absolute rock star like there it's just like every all curls are beautiful no matter what like like you might feel like oh it wasn't my best wash day but your curls are looking good like your curls are beautiful and ask questions be like hey what do you think I could do differently what should I try differently watch video watch videos make sure you're deep conditioning make sure that you have products that are helping your hair and helping your hair health and write out your hair health goals um, something that I do in swimming is someone told me if you make three choices a day that are positive that in 365 days something good will come from that there's no way that that won't work and so in swimming that would be choosing an apple over candy for a snack going to bed 30 minutes earlier rather than watching an extra episode of TV and keeping your head down every time you touch the wall. So three things, super simple, just three choices that you make. You're like, okay, I did that instead of that. And 
you do that with swimming. I kind of do it with everything in my life, but I'll be like, all right, I deep conditioned today and I rinsed with cold water when I left the shower. Or I could be like, all right, I slept on a satin pillowcase today. And I just try to do something every day that's going towards hair health. And that is my absolute goal. And then you have to define what hair health is to you, define what success is to you. And for me, it was my hair health was to make sure that my curls were as healthy as they could be and to keep up with trims and to everything that I was doing and in putting into my hair, it was going to make it healthier and going to make it curlier and it's going to embrace my natural curl. And <laughs> thanks, Brent. Um, you guys are so nice to me, but um, yeah, I just tried to, everything that's going into my hair is going to be, make it more towards my definition of success for curly hair. Okay, I'm almost done here. Yes, I experienced shrinkage with my curls, and more so the healthier they get, I find, like, I experienced shrinkage with my curls, yes, so they will curl up a lot, and my hair will get a bit shorter. I don't mind that, though. I like that my hair is healthier. I feel like it's shinier. I feel like it's touchable, so, yeah, I have shrinkage with my curls. That's just the way it goes, right? When I swim, I go... Oh, every time. Oh, that's probably smart. Hey, to... I've heard the sun's damaging. I usually try to wear a hat. Does conditioner help with that? Linda? Um... So, yeah, that's good that every time you get out of the pool you shower and apply the regular conditioner. I hope you're shampooing too. Um, I feel, my mom's been telling me this forever, just like shampoo after you get out of the pool, shampoo you get out of the pool. And it's only been in the last year and a half that I was like, shampoo when you get out of the pool. But no, now I am, she was right, you gotta shampoo when you get out of the pool. Get the chlorine out of your hair. Thanks, Jenny. That's kind. Um, I really appreciate that. I, uh, yeah, I've really embraced my curls ever since finding Lust Brands. Um, you would have never seen me. No, no, I'm sorry. You would have never seen me with um, curly hair or wearing my curly hair before I found Lust Brands. Wouldn't have happened. There's photos where I tried, but like midway through the day, they'd be up. And so, does anyone else in your family have curly hair? They're not, like, my mom has curly hair. It's not as curly as mine, though. And uh, my, I feel like some of her cousins on her side have curly hair. But, uh, I feel like it's no. I know she's watching. She's probably like, yes. But, um, none that I like, like, my dad and my brother both have really straight hair. And my mom does have curly hair. She did, she wore it curly when I was growing up. So, yeah, my mom does.
pretty dry. It's not 100% dry, but like, we have 10 more minutes. If I was like gonna go, I'd probably go outside right now and let it air dry the rest of the way. Do you guys, if you guys have any last, thanks Lisa. If you guys have any last minute questions. For sure ask them. I'm gonna like that. sure that all the roots are dry because I tend to touch my hair. Great curls, thank you for your video. Oh, thanks Linda. Any tips for diffusing? I've never done it and have really long thick hair that weighs my waves down so I want to try it. I need to get a hair dryer and diffuse it up. Yeah, for sure. Great step. Get the diffuser and the hair dryer. Um, any tips for diffusing? The Lust team will be able to answer that more in depth for you for wavy hair. But my tips are to, I, okay, so at first what I tried to do was I would like put it in the bottom, I turned it off, I would put it, my hair in the bottom and then I would like sit there and wait for it to dry, but I found that I didn't really like the way that my curls curled when I did that and so that's why I just kept trying different ways. So I like to put it in and then not move it while it's like in my hair, but that's when I'll let the, the heat go through and then I just kind of like, I'll have my hand on this side just to like feel how hot it is and feel like what's going on, but I won't be like touching the curls at all. And so I guess that's my tip is just to try out a bunch of different things. And until it's fully dry, try to not touch it so much. Um, I'm just going to flip this quick. But yeah, um, for sure, there's definitely someone better to answer about wavy hair and diffusing. But um, I would recommend for sure the diffuser. And I think that's all I got. Yeah, just experiment and try out because there's no real rule book. It's pretty much just trial and error and asking questions. I'm using medium heat and high wind. Less products are all we need to have healthy hair and beautiful curls. I've been using for over a year the best choice after count. Yes. That you have to crunch your hair once you're done drying. Do you leave it or try to get it out? Mm -mm. No crunch. Um, my hair is... No, I'll go closer. So it's like pretty dry. It's not that dry at the top, but the bottoms are for sure dry. So this is my curl right now. <laughs> this is my curl. And it... Where'd the camera go? Oh, it's not crunchy. It's soft, right? So it's defined. It's soft. Um, that's the end of my hair. Do you feel like you have to crunch your hair? So no, I haven't really understood that. I've read that a lot. People feel like they have to like crunch their hair. But no, it dries. It dries really, really... It's not fully dry. But it dries really soft and touchable and light. And I actually like day two curls more than day one most of the time. If I wash it on a Saturday after practice and then have Sunday out of the pool. Day two curls. Love that. Um, I'll just do a light pineapple. And then at, right when I wake up, they, they don't sit perfectly. But after about like a half an hour of being down, then that's like my favorite hair time for myself. Okay. We're at angle. Now I'll do the... Uh, up the bottom, the bottom bit of my hair. I have dried most of it at this point. See where we're at. Do you find no, no crunching of my hair? Do you have to find that you have to crunch your hair, Lisa? Do you leave it? Try to get it. Yeah, no, no, I don't need to crunch it. 
for sure. Okay, so this part didn't curl as well as it did. So as well as I wanted it to. I feel like I might have touched it. Probably. There's a record of the whole thing. So I would say my hair is mostly dry now. I still wouldn't like touch it or pick out the roots or anything. But it is um I've if your hair crunches with less, you've used too much, if that helps. Oh, thank you. Okay. Um, hmm. Interesting. No, I don't think so. I wouldn't. If I was going to touch it, I would take the elixir oil for sure. And I would put this on my hand. And then I would probably like just like run it through if I felt like it was crunchy. But I actually haven't really experienced that. I've only used three pumps for my whole head. And as you can see, like I have... Okay, yeah, maybe down here. I think it's still wet, though, so I wouldn't exactly pull that apart. But eventually I would. I would pull that apart. But, like, that, it feels... Yeah, no, that's still wet. <laughs> okay. But this front part, what do you do once you're done diffusing? Do you fluff or shake once it's dry? Yeah, so I'll just make sure. Usually I feel like one side will be better. So if I, I parted it here originally, but, like, partway through the day, I might, like, flip that over and kind of see what's going on on that side. I will either run the elixir oil through it once it's completely dry just to make it look like a little bit more volume um, to help me break up some of the curls so if I'm gonna put my fingers in there and like touch a curl and break up these bottom ones which really curl together ah, it's really it's opposite <laughs> I will use the elixir oil before pulling those ones apart no worries I've had it happen to me as well I think I saw it there thank you oh that's awesome thanks Lisa and Megan do you keep the front from falling forward? My curly hair may not be as thick. So you mean like forward onto your face? Um, so I would say like before you start diffusing, part it the way that you want it to. My curly hair may not be as thick. Um, yeah, I would say like part it how you want to style it and then start diffusing and maybe try a different part. The only tool, tips I have really. But one side, so I brushed it to the front when I was styling it, and then I put it in that towel, the t-shirt towel for a bit, and then when I took it out, you'll see, like, my hair was still in front of my head, but then I, like, separated it here, and then I, like, pushed it backwards. So before I started diffusing, um, yeah, I hope you guys think same. <laughs> so, yeah, before I started diffusing, I, like, separated it, and then I pushed my hair to the side back to where I wanted to be, so that after I brushed it forwards, it wasn't still forward once I started to dry it. I set it over to where I wanted it. And then I started to diffuse it. So that's why, like, that hair that I did brush forward, um, it was it was put back into its place and then shook, like, to the side once it... 10.58, that timing. <laughs> all right, guys. Um, thank you so much. I think I answered all the questions. If you guys do have any questions, I reply to Instagram DMs every day, and I'll try to respond to Facebook DMs throughout today and tomorrow. And then, I mean, I'll continue to try to keep up with that. But Instagram DMs are the best way to contact me. And... Thank you so much for watching. I can't believe there's 100 people here. You guys are awesome. This community has been so good to me. And it's been amazing being able to love my hair, love my curls. Being able to wear my hair curly has been the biggest game changer for me. And to be able to leave the pool. And I always was so jealous that girls could wash their hair and leave the pool like that. And just go about their day and their hair would dry how they wanted it. And I was like, mm, what the heck? Like I felt like I had to blow dry it, straighten it. And then like carry all like carry all these tools around. I I didn't have to do that. I was fighting it the, for so many years and making it so much more difficult for myself. Uh, once I started to embrace my curls and love my curls, it really helped me love myself and my self confidence and realizing that like like this is perfect. It's perfect hair. It's my hair. It's what's supposed to be on my head. And embracing it has been the best move. And it's really helped my confidence. And I'm excited to see how that confidence shift is gonna help my swimming because I mean, a happy swimmer is a fast swimmer and I'm so happy to be a Lust Brand sponsored athlete and I really appreciate all of you guys' support. Thank you. Is there any questions? Oh, thanks you guys. Oh, and live video. Okay, thanks everybody, goodbye.